Hey Internet, my name is Rainey. Uh, I'm a Boy Scout leader among other things and right now I'm making some fire starting material using this rope. I'm cutting it into sections and then unlaying the rope. Um, one of the things I need to do before I get too far into all this rope is making sure that it is actually a natural material which is going to burn nicely as fire starter. Sorry for the wind noise, but I've got myself into a fire safe area that I can test a little bit of this drown out rope fiber to see if it's going to be a good fire starter. And get out my hot spark kit. I always light fires this way, so I need to know if this is going to light this material as kindling. Tinder, sorry. It is tinder, not kindling. I know the order it goes in. Okay, could be too much wind, could be the rope isn't going to light. Let's spread this out a little bit and give this another shot here. Okay, so the rope is flammable. That is a very good thing because that means it'll work as good tinder. So I'm going to unlay the rest of the rope and that's okay, it just landed on gravel. There's nothing burnable over there. And we're going to keep going. Alright, so let's try a camera angle that isn't too much of a disaster. Got my rope, got a little knife. I'm just going to cut off a small segment of rope, like so. There we go. Little segment of rope, and all I have to do is unlay the rope. It's made up of three segments. And then each of those three is actually two more segments, and they're all twisted in the reverse direction from each other. One there. One there. And last one. Yeah, come on. There you go and untangle it a little bit. Now I have a good bundle, a small bundle of tinder. Uh, grab my waterproof container, load it in, and I'll basically end up filling this jar full of tinder. And I can take this around and do classes with this or take it camping with me and I have a waterproof container that I can start fires from.